This is the level 2 checkpoint video for episodes 4, 5 and 6. The current position is black to move. Try to find the best sequence in this position and write down your answer. You may stop the video now. Were you able to spot the continuation in this position? So here we have to consider the episodes 4, 5, and 6 uh, from uh, the level 2 chess exercises, right? So we have checkmates in 5, we have forks, and we have pins. So here, any checks, uh, captures, attacks that we, that we have, we don't have any checks, so we can move on to the next one. Any captures, captures here, we do have, but they don't do anything other than lose a piece. So any attacks or threats that we have, we do. Because we have a lot of uh, control of the d5 square, we can actually just push our d5, uh, our pawn to d5 here, attacking the bishop and attacking the pawn. So uh, naturally, they would probably just grab the pawn in the middle. We will be able to grab the pawn with the e pawn here uh, on d5, and then if they were to just capture the pawn here with a knight, we would just be able to uh, win a minor piece and be up material. So here, uh, naturally, they will probably just retreat, you know, just go back, um, go back to b3 with the bishop, and then we can just fork the pieces in the middle here, and they will just probably try to get some material back, but then we will just be winning in this position. The current position is wide to move. Try to find the best sequence in this position and write down your answer. You may stop the video now. We're able to spot the continuation in this position. So here we have to be very forceful with any checks, captures, attacks, right? And we need to remember that our opponent will try to delay any checkmates uh, that are doable, right? So here we have to find the move queen d4 check. Queen d4 check, if they were to move the king, for example, here, we can just give checkmate. So uh, ideally, they would just try to uh, put the bishop uh, on f6 here so that we can grab the bishop with check. And then now here we don't have the checkmate anymore with the queen. But here we have to uh, find a continuation, very precise, just like uh, queen g6. Queen g6 forces the king to go all the way to the corner of the board. And here we don't, we cannot give any checkmates yet, like this, because if we were to grab this pawn here, the queen can always just defend here, right? So we have to find the move of uh, queen takes e8 check. Only move for them would just be to bring the king here to uh, h7, and then we can just finish the game with queen, uh, queen g8 checkmate. The current position is black to move. Try to find the best sequence in this position and write down your answer. You may stop the video now. Were you able to spot the continuation in this position? So here we have to consider that they have two minor pieces and a heavy piece, right? So uh, three points plus three will be six plus uh, five will be 11. So 11 versus a uh, uh, nine point value, that is the queen. So here we have to find the very precise move uh, queen f7 check. Queen f7 check is actually forking the king and the knight here. So uh, if they just move the king somewhere, we would just be able to grab the knight for free. Uh, but in this case, they'll probably try to defend their knight by bringing it to f4. Here we can actually make a move like e5 or g5 attacking the knight. And if the king were to move somewhere to get out of the pin, it would be too late because we would just be able to grab the knight with the pawn. And then if they grab back, we can just grab the pawn here and be able to win the game in this position. The current position is black to move. Try to find the best sequence in this position and write down your answer. You may stop the video now. Were you able to spot the continuation in this position? So here we have to be very forceful with our uh, checks, captures, attacks, right? So any checks in the position, we do. And the check that we have here in the position is very strong. So we enter with uh, queen grabs uh, h4 check. Uh, if the king were to move, to f1, we would just be able to give a checkmate here because the knight is on e4, defending that f2 square. So they will just go forward here, and we can actually continue with the checks here, trying to limit all the squares and skip squares from the king. So here, uh, they will just go with uh, king d3. If we don't do anything, if we give other checks, he can always just grab our, our knight and then try to defend like that, or maybe get checkmated as well. But here we need to be precise with the move uh, knight c5 check. So now we're still limiting the squares from the king. Remember that the pawn on e5 is also covering these squares. So there's a bunch of squares that are very limited for the king. So only move for the king would be uh, c4. So here we need to uh, proceed with queen, um, queen d4 check. And remember that our knight is covering some squares. So the king is very forced to just move to, uh, to b5. 
and here we can just finish the game by uh, giving a, a pawn checkmate in this position with a pawn a6 checkmate. The current position is white to move. Try to find the best sequence in this position and write down your answer. You may stop the video now. We're able to spot the continuation in this position. So here we need to consider any checks, captures, attacks, right? So any checks in the position, we don't. I mean, actually we do. We, if we grab the knight with a bishop, we, that's a check. Then we'll just be able to grab the pawn with a pawn and then we will just be able to win a pawn in this position. Uh, is that pretty good though? It is, it is good, but it's not the best. So we need to uh, look into the next one, right? Any captures. Yes, we have the same capture that comes with the check, but also we have a capture with the rook. Is this pretty good though? It's actually better than the check uh, that we mentioned previously. If we were actually uh, able to find uh, rook grabs e5, which uh, is not checked, but we can just grab it. It's very forced because if they don't grab the rook, we would just be uh, up a minor piece here. So a uh, rook and a bishop against the rook. So here, if they grab the, the, the rook with the pawn, we can actually uh, go ahead and find the bishop grabs or bishop takes e5 check, which actually is a fork for the king and the rook. If the king moves somewhere, we can just grab the rook and we should be able to win the end game in this position. Uh, we're have, we have one more pawn and also we have a minor piece. The current position is white to move. Try to find the best sequence in this position and write down your answer. You may stop the video now. We're able to spot the continuation in this position. So here we have to look into any checks, captures, attacks, any checks. We have one check here, but then they can just grab our knight like this. Any captures, we don't have any captures, any attacks or threats, we do. So keep in mind that we have a very good diagonal here uh, on the king, On the, the, the king is on the dark squares and we have a dark square bishop. So we can try to do something with it, right? So if we're able to find the move g4, we're forcing the knight to move somewhere, right? So the knight cannot just move, um, uh, here on g g3 because we can just grab it with the bishop and the knight has been blocked by the other knight and by the pawn so the only square for the knight will be to just go to f4 after this we can actually provide the knight with a nice pin here situation so we're pinning the knight to the king so the knight cannot move and here maybe like a good idea would be for them to just bring the other knight to defend their knight because they cannot just move here to the edge file uh, because we can just grab it with the pawn so they would just try to find this move instead but here we can actually find the move c4 getting rid of the defender of the uh, f4 knight and here if they were to give us a check where would you move your king right if we move our king towards the left or something they can always try to find some checks if we move it to f2 they can give us a check here on the one if we move it to um, e1 they can give us some checks like this like this so we can try to find a square where this knight on e3 cannot give us any more checks. And here in this position, whatever move they make, now the next turn we will just be able to uh, win the knight. If for example, they won't go with the pawn here, we can just grab the pawn. If they get out of the pin, we can just grab the knight. And we will be winning this position 